Om Shanti. 24th November 2022. English Murli. Essence. Sweet children, you have to pay full attention to Srimad. The Father's orders are, Children, remember me. Imbibe knowledge and serve others. First question. What very good advice does Baba give you children for your progress? Answer. Sweet children, keep your account. At Amrit Vela, remember the father with love. Don't sit in remembrance out of compulsion. Follow Srimat and become soul conscious and become completely merciful and you will continue to make very good progress. Second question. What becomes an obstacle in your having remembrance? Answer. The sinful actions you performed in the past become an obstacle when you sit in remembrance. You children invoke the father with your remembrance and Maya tries to make you forget. You have to keep a chart of remembrance. Make effort and you will be threaded in the rosary. Today's song. You are the ocean of love. We thirst for one drop. Om Shanti. When you sit here, you have to sit in remembrance of Baba. Maya doesn't allow many of you to stay in remembrance because you have party consciousness. Some remember their friends and relatives. Some remember food and drink. You remember so many things. When you come and sit here, you should invoke the Father. For instance, when they worship Lakshmi, they are invoking her. It isn't that Lakshmi actually comes. Here you are told to remember the father, that is to invoke him. They are both the same thing. Your sins will be absolved by having remembrance. You are unable to imbibe virtues because you have committed many sins. You are still unable to have remembrance of the father. The more you remember the Father, the more you will become conquerors of sin and free from disease. It is very easy, but Maya, that is the sins of the past, appear in front of you and creates an obstacle in your having remembrance. The Father says, you have been remembering me inaccurately for half the cycle. Now you invoke me in a practical way because you know that Baba has come. However, this habit of remembrance should become firm. The eternal surgeon gives you the medicine to become ever free from disease. Remember me and you will come and meet me. By remembering me through me, you will receive the inheritance from me. Remember the father and the sweet home. The place where you have to go remains in your intellects. The Father comes from there and gives you the true message. No one else gives God's message. They come here onto the stage to play their parts and they forget God. When Lakshmi and Narayan come here, they are not aware of God. They cannot be called messengers. It was human beings who gave them that name. They come here to play their parts. How would they remember him? They have to become impure while playing their parts and then at the end, they have to become pure from impure. Only the father comes and makes them that. You have to become pure by having remembrance of the father. The father says, Children, I only have one method to purify you. Forget all your bodily relations, including your bodies. You souls know that you have been ordered to remember the Father. Only those who follow these orders are called obedient. Those who remember Him less are said to be less obedient. Those who are obedient also claim a high status. Baba's first order is to remember Him and the second order is to imbibe knowledge. If you don't remember me, you will have to experience a lot of punishment. If you continue to spin the discus of self-realization, 
you will receive a lot of wealth. God speaks, know me through me, and also know the beginning, the middle, and the end of the world cycle. These are the two main things to which you have to pay attention. If you pay full attention to Srimad, you will claim a high status. Then you also have to become merciful. Show everyone the path. Benefit everyone. Also create a matter to take your friends and relations on the true pilgrimage. Those pilgrimages are physical whereas this pilgrimage is spiritual. No one has this spiritual knowledge. All of that is the philosophy of the scriptures. This is spiritual knowledge. Only the Supreme Spirit gives this knowledge to the spirits. He has to take all spirits back home. When some come at Amritvela and sit here, they sit here under compulsion. They are not concerned about their progress at all. Some children have a lot of body consciousness. If they were to become soul conscious, they would become merciful and also follow Srimad. The father says, write your chart as to how long you remember the father. Previously, you used to keep a chart. Okay, you don't have to send it to Baba, but at least keep it with yourself. You have to look at your own face. Have I become worthy of marrying Lakshmi? Businessmen keep their accounts. Some even write their whole daily timetable. They have a hobby of writing that. This Baba gives you very good advice on how to keep your accounts of how long you remembered Baba and for how long you explained to someone. If you keep such a chart, you would make a great deal of progress. Baba and Mama don't have to write it. Those who become beads of the rosary have to make a lot of effort. Baba has said that a rosary of Brahmins cannot be created at this time. It will be created at the end when the rosary of Rudra is created. The rosary of Brahmins continues to change. Today someone may be in the third or fourth number and tomorrow he will end up in the last number of 16,108. When some fall, they go into total degradation. They come out of the rosary and become cremators within the subjects. If you want to be threaded in the rosary, make effort. Baba gives everyone very good advice. Even if someone is dumb, he can tell others through signals to remember Baba. Even if some people are blind or crippled, they can claim a higher status than those who are perfectly healthy. Liberation in life in a second has been remembered. As soon as you belong to Baba, you receive the inheritance. There is a number-wise status in that. As soon as a son is born, he claims a right to his inheritance. Here all of you are male children. You have to claim your right to the inheritance from the father. Everything depends on your efforts. Such children then say, I must have been defeated in the previous cycle. This is boxing. The pond was battled with Maya Ravan. Some make effort and become the double crowned masters of the world. Some become the maids and servants of the subjects. Everyone is studying here. A kingdom is being established. Everyone's attention would be drawn to the beads who are at the front. How the eight beads are moving along can be known from their efforts. Don't think that God is Antaryami. In brackets, one who knows the secrets with everyone and that he therefore knows what is in everyone's heart. No, Jani Jananhar means being knowledgeful. He knows the beginning, the middle and the end of the world, but he won't sit and read what is in the heart of each one. People think that I am a thought reader. In fact, I am Jani Jananhar, that is, 
I am knowledgeful. I have the knowledge of the beginning, the middle and the end of the world and how this cycle repeats again. I know the secret of that repetition and I explain all of these secrets to you children. Each one of you can understand who God is and how much service he does. But it isn't that Baba does the business of knowing what is in each one's heart. He is the living seed of the human world tree and so he is knowledgeful. The word Jani Jananhar is very old. Whatever knowledge I have, I teach you that. However, would I sit and watch what you do throughout the whole day? I come just to teach you easy Raj Yoga and knowledge. Baba says, there are many children. Children write letters and I am revealed in front of my children. I can then understand whether that child is a real one or a stepchild. This is each one's study. Each one has to act according to Sriman. You have to become benevolent. You know that the day of Jupiter, in brackets Thursday, is also called the day of the seed of the tree. The seed of the tree is called Somnath and also Shiva. Generally, children are admitted to school on a Thursday. They even adopt gurus. Somnath, the father, teaches you. Somnath is also called Rudra. It is said that he created the sacrificial fire of the knowledge of Rudra. This is the only sacrificial fire that continues in which everything of the whole old world is sacrificed. Even the elements go into upheaval. Everything is sacrificed into it. The Mahabharat war is just in front of you. People have sacrificial fires for peace, but there cannot be peace through those material sacrificial fires. The flames of destruction emerge from this sacrificial fire. This corrupt world is to be sacrificed into it. You children have to see all of this. Those who see this have to be great Mahavirs. People will cry out in distress. For you it is written, there is happiness for the hunter and death for the prey. In the golden age there were very few human beings. There was just the one religion. Now at the end of the Iron Age, look how many human beings there are and how many religions there are. For how long will all of these innumerable religions continue? The Golden Age definitely has to come. Now who will establish the Golden Age? Only the Father, the Creator will do that. The destruction of the Iron Age is in front of you. You also forgot who the God of the Gita is. God established heaven, but there was no question of a war in that. He enabled us to conquer Maya. Because of not understanding this secret, they have shown a war between devils and deities. That doesn't really take place. You children have received the knowledge of the past, present, and future from the Father, and you have to spin that discus of self-realization. You have to remember the Father and the creation. This is something so easy. Song, you are the ocean of love. Baba says today, you write, you are the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of bliss, but you also have to write the ocean of love. There is a lot of praise of the Father. However, by saying that He is omnipresent, they have lost the praise of the Father. They have written of Krishna that He had 16,108 queens. On the day of Janmashtami, they swing Krishna in a cradle. However, no one knows that Krishna becomes Narayan and that Radhe becomes Lakshmi. Lakshmi then becomes Jagadamba. No one knows this. The father says, by knowing me, you will come to know everything. 
however those who don't become soul conscious are unable to imbibe anything there has been body consciousness for half a cycle even in the golden age you don't have any knowledge of god you come here to play your parts and you forget god you understand that souls shed bodies and take others however there is no question of sorrow there the praise of god is the ocean of knowledge the ocean of love the one drop is man mana bhava madhya ji bhava by receiving this we go from an ocean of poison to an ocean of milk rivers of milk and ghee flow in heaven all of that is its praise because there cannot be rivers of ghee and milk you know what heaven is although there are models in ajmer they don't know anything anyone you can explain to will instantly be able to understand the dancing etc is just like playing and having entertainment just as baba has the knowledge of the beginning the middle and the end so it should also spin in the intellects of you children you have to relate accurate praise of the father his praise is limitless not everyone can be the same each one has received his or her own part if according to the drama the pope has that part he will receive it if he has another part then we shall see that in the future whatever you were shown in divine visions you will actually see that with your eyes you have had visions of vishnu you will also go there in a practical way you will then stop having visions there are neither visions nor devotion in the golden and silver ages these things then begin again on the path of devotion baba explains such good things which you children then have to explain to others brothers and sisters come and claim your inheritance from the father without knowledge they have said that god is omnipresent and made his praise disappear they have even defamed him you children know his accurate praise acha to the sweetest beloved to long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children extend their love remembrance say good morning namaste and thank you to the spiritual bab dada essence for dharana first point perform each act according to shrimat serve everyone as a benevolent and merciful soul number 2 instill the form habit of having remembrance at the time of sitting in remembrance pay attention that you don't remember any of your friends or relatives or food and drink etc maintain a chart of remembrance blessing may you be a knowledgeful natural yogi and thereby understand finish and transform all waste explanation in order to become a natural yogi keep your mind and intellect completely free from all waste for this as well as being knowledgeful also become powerful on the basis of knowledge you can understand what is right and what is wrong and what something is like however you must not merge that inside yourself knowledge means understanding and someone who knows how to understand how to finish and how to transform is considered to be sensible so when you sacrifice your wasteful attitude and wasteful vibrations you will be called a natural yogi slogan be careless about all waste but not about the codes of conduct om shanti